good morning to everyone this is devan kumar today i am discussing the course cloud security okay so in general all of you heard about uh, cloud computing cloud computing is different cloud security is different cloud computing means where our data is stored in the cloud that is cloud computing what are different methods what are different clouds are available so what are different clouds available public cloud private protected uh, hybrid hybrid cloud like this but the cloud security means we are providing security for the data that is available in the cloud that is our cloud security concept both are different cloud computing and cloud security is different cloud com- cloud computing is where we are storing our data in the cloud cloud security means we can provide a security the data in the cloud okay uh, today we are discussing the security concepts of the first uh, chapter is security concepts of the cloud this is our first chapter in this one i am discussing first we are discussing about confidentiality already we know confidentiality so it is one of the three pillars of the information security along with the you know, integrity and availability it uh, refers to protection of sensitive information what is sensitive information just like our uh, very important information like uh, net banking ids passwords okay what are the different accounts we have so those uh, accounts and passwords comes under uh, sensitive information so those cannot be accessed uh, not other ones that uh, refers to confidentiality so whatever the data is uh, is ourselves or other persons those are not accessed by the another person that is called confidentiality it is the concept of confidentiality so today we are discussing how we are achieving confidentiality in the data available in the cloud okay there are the best, best practice to achieve confidentiality in the cloud first one is encryption it is the process of converting our data into unreadable format using cryptography algorithm and key already you know encryption decryption so only other users with the key can decrypt the data okay so encryption can be applied to data at rest stored in the cloud rest means here the data stored in the cloud is called rest a data transfer means the data is transmitted to one cloud to other cloud or one uh, cloud to the outside part of the world what it may be that is called uh, data in rest transit so encryption technique we are using so to achieve conventional means we can use any encryption so an access control so we are maintaining two types of access controls here access control list acs and role based access control rbac these are we are using uh, to access control of data in the cloud uh, acls uh, explicitly granted any access to specific users and groups only rbc assign users to roles there are different roles are all available just like in our college also uh, dean economics uh, principal chairman so code in charge okay ka course code like this in the similar way uh, in any institution different roles are available so be according to the role they have some permitted uh, permi- uh, restricted restricted permission uh, to access the data in the cloud okay that is uh, that is uh, regarding rbs we are assigning uh, users to roles and roles to granted permission to access specific resource only this is our access control okay the second one is access control so in access control we are using two things acls and rbs okay next we can go for third one is data loss prevention what is data loss prevention so these are used so when uh, when you are the uh, our data is moving outside the world okay these are the solutions can identify block sensitive data being leaked or lost suppose any data is leaked any, any data is lost these uh, that can be identified this dlp solutions data loss prevention okay this is monitoring uh, what is the data is uh, leaked or absorbed by another person so the data should be known with the help of data loss prevention okay next conventional computing these computing is a set of technology that protect data in use conventional computer uses hardware and software techniques to isolate data from the cloud provider and other application running on the same system so by using conventional computing we are protecting the data these are the four best techniques there are so many uh, techniques are available these are the four okay what are the four here first one is encryption access control second uh, third one is data loss prevention fourth one is conventional computing privacy next one is privacy this is freely accept of cloud security 
whereas confidentiality for uh, uh, one group data, one organization data or one department data, but privacy belongs to one particular person data, how to protect uh, my data. Suppose I am the employee of this uh, uh, university, how to protect my data that is not uh, accessible by other persons, just like my ERP details, LMS details. So that type of privacy is provided with the help of cloud. Okay. Privacy closes. So see the point here. Privacy is closely related to confidentiality, but focus specially on protecting personal identification, identifiable information, and ensuring individuals have control over the collection, use, and disclosure of their personal data. So privacy means so you can give one particular person data. How to give confidentiality to the one particular person data? That is called privacy. Okay. What are the best practices for maintaining data privacy in the cloud? First, data, data encryption. Second one is strong access control. In data encryption, we are using uh, two types of uh, techniques here. Data at rest. See here, data at rest, data in transit. Data at rest uh, and data in transit encryption. What is data at rest encryption? It safeguards data stored in cloud servers. While data in transit encryption protects data as it travels over the network. So data at rest encryption safeguards data stored in the servers. Data transit encryption protects data as it travels over the network. Suppose in the network of data is traveling, to provide that data security, we can use data data in transit encryption. Next, in the similar way, strong access control, we are using uh, robust access control mechanisms to restrict who can access our cloud data. Role-based access control already we discussed RBAC to assign uh, specific permissions and privileges to different users and roles. Ensuring that only authorized persons can view or modify our data, uh, the, uh, sorry, our uh, sensitive information, uh, important information. Regular review and update access controls to maintain data privacy. You have to maintain reviews and update access controls. So changing passwords, okay, like that, uh, to maintain better uh, authentication. Data. Next one, third one is data classification. The, what is the data classification? Our data is some. Uh, our, we have some data that is some uh, important data. So unimportant data like this. In a similar way, not all data is equally sensitive. Class by our data into categories of sensitivity and importance. More important data, important data, not important like that. We can maintain the classification. So we have to apply based on the classification, we have to give secret to that type of data. Okay. Suppose, uh, suppose on, uh, some data is more secure, we can give high security. Uh, so important means some medium or something like this. No, unimportant means we can't give any security, no problem. Okay. The similar based on the importance of the data, we have to give the security for that data. That is called data classification. Based on the data classification, we are uh, giving the security data. Just to compliance with the data protection regulations. So you can maintain some regulations such as GDPR in Europe, HIPPA, healthcare sector like this. So these can uh, protect our data. So they can uh, they can maintain our privacy controls, breach notification requirements like this. Everything is maintained. Okay. That's the four. So in uh, privacy, you can go for four techniques, four better practices, data encryption, strong access control, data classification, compliance with data protection regulation. This is about privacy. Next, you can go for integrity, third one. What is integrity? This is integrity refers to the accuracy, consistency, reliability data throughout the life cycle. Integrity involves preventing another modifications. So our data cannot modify by other persons, deletion, tampering, like this. That is the take care by integrity. Measures such as data backups, access controls, digital signals can help maintain our integrity. Suppose uh, sometimes uh, our data may be lost, then that can be backup by backups. That can be again returned back by backups. Access to digital signatures can help maintain data integrity. Okay, using digital signatures only other persons can access the data. Initially, we can use here. Some cryptographic techniques like hashing, digital signatures can enable detection of other, another modification to data. Okay, so we can use cryptographic techniques also for integrity. The techniques what are the different techniques for ensuring uh, integrating cloud security. Here also we are using data encryption, hash functions, digital signatures, access controls, regular routing, mounting. With the help of these uh, five techniques, we can ensure integrity to our data in our cloud security. Okay. Uh, this is already you know, based on signatures only, one other person can access the data. Hash functions already we know, so many hash functions. The access controls already we discussed. Regular uh, auditing means we are continually mon uh, monitoring the 
any other changes to the our uh, data. We are continually monitoring, auditing. Authentication. Next one is authentication. It is also one, one of the important uh, thing in uh, cloud security. It is verifying identity of users, the system attempt to access cloud resources such as applications, data, the services. Then the only other entities can gain access, protecting data, and other access and data breaches. So, what is other entities uh, can uh, can can give us? So, it uh, it doesn't uh, allow another persons. Only other persons can access the data. That is authentication. Okay, by using proper uh, uh, username, password like this is authentication. Okay. These are authentication methods, username, passwords, the most common way. Multi-factor authentication requires at least two forms of authentication. Something or no password, something or I mean smartphones or hardware token, multi-factor authentication. Biometrics, the fingerprints, facial recognition, voice recognition like this. Token based, use of cryptography tokens, smart cards like this. Single sign-on, allow us to access multiple cloud services and applications within a single set of credentials. Federated identity enables user to use their organization identity, identity provider, just like our uh, employee ID, okay, for access to external cloud services. This is about authentication methods in cloud security. Username and password, multi-factor authentication, biometrics, token-based authentication, single sign-on, uh, federated identity. Next one is non-repetition. It is also one of the critical aspects in cloud security. So, what is the importance of this non-repetition? that a party involved digital transaction cannot deny their actions or the authenticity of the transaction. Suppose uh, any person, other person is uh, doing any uh, uh, valid uh, digital transaction that is not denied by the particular uh, action, the denied by the anyone, okay. They cannot deny actions or their, uh, their actions cannot be denied. That is, uh, comes under non-repetition. Then it uh, ensures uh, that uh, the, suppose I am, I am performing any action, data transfer, whatever it may be, that should be completed within time. That uh, that gives us non-repetition. The concept non-repetition. Okay. Non-repetition techniques. Uh, what are the different uh, non-repetition techniques? Cloud security, digital signatures again. Time steps you can use. Audit trails and logging. Secure storage. These are the four we can use for non-repetition techniques. Okay. Time stamps. We can do some particular time step within time only. We can do anything. So transaction means I can't do one hour, two hours like this. Any money transaction means I can do within 2 or 3 minutes only, okay. Summary, cloud, uh, finally, what is the cloud security? Cloud security gives security to our data that is available in the cloud, okay. Thank you.